one of the reasons why they got to the big game last night, the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, is because of uh, a couple of guys that won the Super Bowl for the Patriots last year. Uh, the game in uh, Philly last night looked to be all Minnesota, looked to be in uh, Minnesota's favor. The skull chant that was being conducted by the tons of Vikings fans that had descended upon Philadelphia for this game on the steps of that draft, on the very same steps that uh, we saw the video went viral yesterday of the, the Vikings fans chanting, clapping above their heads, skull. That uh, it started off in Case Keenum's favor, finding Kyle Rudolph wide open in the end zone. They cut through that Eagles defense like a knife through through butter, a hot knife through butter, 7 nothing. The team that had beaten the Saints in shocking fashion suddenly going up 7 nothing, just like that in Philly. And then Nick Foles couldn't do anything with the ball, give the ball back to Case Keenum. Third down play, timeout. Come out of the timeout, and Chris Long puts his hands on Case Keenum. Ball goes awry, pick six. Guy playing for free with the money play that changed everything in Philadelphia on Sunday. And sure enough, the route was on. And Nick Foles was stupendous. And the Eagles defense that took the pick six back, uh, Patrick Robinson, making some nice plays, getting a, a block from Ronald Darby, one of two former Buffalo Bills that made some big plays in championship Sunday. We'll get to the other in a second. I mean, that play changed the tenor of the game. Now, yes, with a 14-7 lead for Philly, the Vikings had the ball inside the red zone, looking pretty damn good. Maybe they were going to go into get a tie game and hand the ball back to Philly for one last possession in the first half. But guess who comes around the end and knocks the ball loose? Kid named Derek Barnett. Didn't have much of a regular season. First round selection out of Tennessee after breaking much of, yes, Reggie White's records at Tennessee. Coming around the end, sack force fumble. How did he get to Philadelphia in the middle of the first round? Well, that was a first round draft choice that the Vikings uh, gave to Philadelphia in exchange for Sam Bradford. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The football gods sometimes laugh. The kid who the Eagles drafted with the first round pick that they got in the Sam Bradford trade from Minnesota separates the ball of the guy who was putting on the glass slipper, filling in for Sam Bradford. And then Nick Foles turned that turnover into points with the play of the game. Play of the game looks like everybody's all around him. Can't get loose, sure does. Goes up top, touchdown. Holy cow, Nick Foles was spectacular yesterday. Steve Mariucci is joining us at the top of uh, hour number two. I've got to ask him if this was the most perfect game played in this style of offense he's ever seen. In that spot. Andy Reid offense, the run pass option. He's trying to run to perfection in, in Kansas City. Doug Peterson brings that to Philly. We saw what Nick Foles was able to do with it yesterday. Holy cow. I didn't see it coming. Got to be honest with you. And that Philly defense that gave up 100 yards rushing in four of their last five games of the regular season have shut it down in the playoffs. Both Latavius Murray, who ran the ball very well in that first drive, and uh, Jarek McKinnon held to less than 100 yards from scrimmage. How about that? Less than 100 yards rushing. Just 58 rushing yards in the game between the two of them. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.